All right, so we're going to do a GRE tunnel configuration. Mentioned uh, before that GRE is a, an older protocol. Uh, it does not do authentication or encryption, uh, but it is useful sometimes in local networks for uh, traversing networks that uh, otherwise would be incompatible. Maybe they have a weird subnet that conflicts with some of your routing or you need to transport a certain protocol across it. Uh, something like that, you can make a GRE tunnel to kind of get around uh, some issues. So for CCNA, they want you to know how to set up a basic GRE tunnel. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So this network on the left is uh, going to be the one that's behind the tunnel. And then this connection here from router 1 to 0, we're going to make uh, the tunnel. So the tunnel could be longer than that. It doesn't have to be just here. but We'll just do this, um, and we'll pretend this link here is like the bad link that we need to get through somehow. Uh, so what we'll do is just go in and start the config. So we're going to go into router 1, and we're going to go into config mode. And uh, this is something that you don't have to do for an IPsec tunnel, but for GRE tunnel, you do. You have to go in and make a tunnel interface, and then you have to give that tunnel interface an IP address. Uh, normally, for, for other types of tunnels, you don't have to do that. Uh, but for this, we do. So, we're going to say interface tunnel 0. You could make it any number you want, though, uh, but we'll just start low. <laughs> uh, so, we have to make a tunnel interface. We now have to tell the tunnel interface what kind of tunnel it is. So, we're going to say tunnel mode GRE, and it's going to run IP. So tunnel mode Jerry IP. We then have to give it an IP address. So the tunnel itself is going to get an IP address. So I don't think I'm using 172.16 right now. So we're going to do 172.16.16.2 will be router 1. And I'll just make that a slash 24 because why not? It could be something smaller. It's fine. Uh, then we have to define in for the tunnel, where does the tunnel start and stop? So, as I mentioned, it doesn't have to be just one link, it could be farther. Uh, like, I could pretend router 0 is the bad router, and I could make the tunnel go across multiple. Uh, but, what we'll do is, uh, we'll, we'll tell the source is router 1 and the destination is router 0. So, uh, sometimes you can input this as an IP address for both. Sometimes it's an interface and an IP address. kind of depends on what you're using. Uh, so what you need to do is a tunnel source and then so it wants interface so it's going to be fast eth 0, zero is this interface here and tunnel destination is IP uh, and that's going to be the tunnel the interface IP uh, not the tunnel IP on the other side so it's whatever fast eat zero zero is on router zero. So we gotta go find out what that is. So that is dot thirteen, ten zero zero thirteen. So we're gonna say the destination is ten zero zero thirteen. And that's basically it. So what we're gonna do is go back here to router zero and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go into config mode I'm going to make a tunnel interface number 0. We're going to say the mode is GRE and it's using IP. And we're going to set an IP address. Uh, and I'll make this dot 1. And my tunnel source is also FASTE00 on this side. And my destination is whatever IP is on FASTEATH00 over here. So that's dot 14. Okay, so it shows up. Tunnel 0 shows up. So now I should be able to ping router 0 through here. So 172.16.16.1 I should be able to hit. And success. So that's all there is to it. Uh, 
you can do some show commands. So we can show IP in brief, like I just did. You can see the tunnel shows up as an interface. Gives you the standard up, up, or up, down if something's wrong. Uh, you can also show interface on the tunnel. If I type correctly, interface tunnel zero, and it'll give you the, the information that we've seen before, but for the tunnel. Um, you can also do uh, all the other show commands. You know, if you're running OSPF over it or something like that, you could still do uh, show IP OSPF and see what the neighbors are or show egrip. Uh, you, that's pretty much it, really, for GRE. It's it's really simplistic and uh, not often used, but you know it is useful in a pinch when you really need it. So with that, uh, we're gonna wrap this up, and uh, we will move on to some monitoring, uh, some basics on syslog and uh, and SNMP and things like that.